right so this is basically the concept of astrozap make sense so far what i will do is in the if my father permits me i'll give you one example of looking at all these concepts shall i do that are you all comfortable can you give me five minutes okay one the example horoscope thana this is bill gates horoscope let's look at his marriage and let's see if we are able to arrive at the marriage properly okay horoscope i have given you so marriage andre what do we look we need to look at which house seventh house which is the seventh house here capricorn makra i have copy pasted exactly what was there previously i want you to just specifically look at a few things nature focused on security and stability positives of practical organized and grounded negatives of suspicious selfish and detached right you you first take this z aspect of it which is the zodiac aspect of it you got to know this is the environment in which he is operating in next we'll look at the planets that are influencing the seventh house which are the planets first we look at the lord of the house then we'll look at the planets in that house and we'll look at the planets aspecting the house all the three we'll look at we have saturn which is the lord of the house we have no planet in the seventh house and lord of the of saturn now aspect to adulla lord of the seventh is saturn he is along with venus and sun right now let us see how they each each one is so i have written saturn sun venus keywords i have given their personal traits also i have given i'll just skip this now where is saturn saturn is an exalted state right that basically means he is auspicious or inauspicious auspicious. how much of auspiciousness 100%. 100% so saturn is 100% auspicious venus who knows mula trikona 75 sun debilitated inauspicious so very clear how each one is right strength of the horoscope each one is in fourth house what did i tell you quadrants alidre strong extremely strong so each one is extremely strong there mm hmm mm hmm aha uh-huh. now it will give you both but depending on the trait and depending on the transit you have to use your cleverness to interpret that that is one thing i probably will take another one hour to explain so what i will do is i will pause that there maybe next time if you still like me i'll give it to you then ha huh? make sense yeah okay um then evil influences saturn is evil venus is evil sun is a good influence right now this is based on the houses they occupy 1 5 9 3 6 11 anta kottidnalla based on that i have given the, so we roughly get three planets saturn venus and sun next after z a p which is the next one a agents karakas let's look at the karaka which is the karaka right now that we have to look at venus venus male horoscope where is venus he is in the fourth house now what we have to look at we have to look at the seventh from venus fair enough where is the seventh from venus hmm empty house is empty there are two benefic planets on the either side moon and ketu now ketu na negative anta thagonti one sathi at this point of time ketu is benefic so look at ketu next mars is aspecting mars is aspecting correct right? i probably did not give you that yeah that's correct whether again ainamsha prakara change agutte i use raman ainamsha always i use raman ainamsha so all my horoscopes look at raman ainamsha ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಯಾರಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಮೀನಾ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಬೈ ದ ವೇ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೀನಾ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಐವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ಬಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹವ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಸೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಚಾರ್ಜಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸೆಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಚಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತೌಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಕ್ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತೌಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಕ್ವೇರಿಯಸ್ again segment chart alive you have saturn venus and mars showing prominence very clear in this the karaka is venus and he is again with mars and saturn so seventh from venus again is viewed by 
Venus, Mars and Saturn straight forward. So previously we found in Rashi chart Saturn, Venus and Sun are quite prominent. In Navamsha chart Saturn, Venus and Mercury are quite prominent. Now here what I have given is the Dasha Bhukti or uh, only Dasha, the Mahadasha Skuti Dini. Now we know Saturn and Venus are the two contenders. Primarily because one kade uh, Venus bandhi de, one kade Mars bandhi de, ala? Sun bandhi de. So you can comfortably eliminate. So you have Saturn and Venus. Now Saturn is at the time of birth. So legal laws doesn't apply you to get married before 18 years so don't venture into it. Use your common sense. So eliminate Saturn. The winner will be Venus. When is Venus Dasha? 1982, 2000. Can you see that? Next, so it, it's 20 years. Let's try to narrow it further. Okay? Timing using Dasha. Venus Dasha Dali, I have given you the Bhuktis, Antara Dashas for each of these things. What have I told you? Venus is 28 degrees. So that basically means he is in the third Drekana. Natural tendency of Venus, you know, marriage. Do we agree? So, the third part marriage is likely I have given. Second part only 4000. Third, third part only again 4000 gains. Yerdo, yerdo I have been included that. So, among these three parts, where will marriage likely to happen? First part, second part, or third part? Third part. Third part. Third part. Very good. In the third part, we have Saturn, Mercury, and Ketu. Remember three planets that we found in Rashi chart and three planets that we found in Navamsha chart. Which, which were the two planets that emerged victorious? Saturn and Venus. So Venus Dasha, Saturn is a like, Antar Dasha will be the likely case. Venus Dasha, Mercury, not likely because we have not encountered him. Similarly, Ketu, highly unlikely. So we can further narrow it down to three years. In the fine tune Marana, let's try it out. Okay? Orbits, transits. What I have given you, for marriage there are three important planets that we need to do. One is Guru Balanta Healthy Way, correct? That is Jupiter. The remaining two are the Karakas that I told you, which is Venus and Ketu. Both of them are important. Let's plot everything. I have given you good or bad transit. You look at all these things, only January 94 Nali, among the transits that are there, that will be the best transit. Why? Because Jupiter is good, Venus is good and this is Ketu. Ketu is also good. The third one I have given you is Ketu. Ketu is also good. All three are good. Everywhere else it is not good. So it is. it roughly says January 1994. So from three years we have moved it to one quarter. Roughly January 1994. Let us look at when he was married. January 1994 he got married. He got married to Melinda Gates. Look at the property of Melinda Gates. Saturn, hard working, good Samaritan, ability to work for long. Melinda Gates, describe Madata. Have you heard of Melinda Gates? She is also a very important person. Most important, I didn't show you one thing. Because there was no Karaka problems there, the wife came in search of, he did not go in search of that. Look at that also is being shown. Similarly, Venus and Sun. So that's basically how you use this formula called Astro Zap. So from today onwards, what you need to speak is Astro Zap. Astro Zap. Astro Zap. With this, I'm going to end it. I know I've tried to compress the entire Burat Parashara Hora, Brahat Jataka, Yella Tegadu on the one hour comp compress Madidini. I will not have done the full uh, justice to it. But I hope that with this formula, your prediction levels will increase significantly. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nano, I will uh, not take any generic questions. One to one, you please come and ask me questions. I uh, thank the organizers for uh, extending another, I think 25 minutes I have taken. So thank you very much and thank you for uh, uh, listening to me patiently.